a yellow one here, and then uh, a green one. Finally, the black one here. So I'll be writing on the board since there is no color. This is black. This is uh, red. This is yellow. And this is green. What are these? What do you want the road? Now this is not road safety signs. I have to say warning signs. So today we're talking about warning signs in relationship. Now both are black flags. These are flags that you can't allow in your life. If you have to remain single, remain single. But don't allow them in your life. Number one, this person does not know God. Does not honor God. Has no business with God. Please run. Number two, your partner is very aggressive. He or she beats you or beats the parents. Don't tell your mouth is something like that. We are seeing boys beating their mother and their father. And you, you want to go in as a woman. Ha, I'm prepared to have with you. I'm 17 years married. Don't look at this fine girl package. I have experience, so I can tell you, marriage is something that you don't enjoy, you have to enjoy it. So please, he beats you, he beats his father, he beats his mother. What does he should do? Wait. Yes. He's under the influence of a substance. He's on drugs. He's alcoholic. And the way that happens, he has no control. Please, what I say? Wait. Yes. Before, if the ritual is, you might be the next victim. This one's a little bit frustrated. I'm like, just want to drop them down. These are things you think you're not looking out for. They are there. The next one is the Bahamas. We are children of God, right? You have no business being associated with a partner that is Bahamas. We are going to go to red flags. What are these red flags? Signs that are warning signs for you that you're in danger zone, that you need to watch out for when you're in a relationship. The person is manipulating or gaslighting. You know what? Who manipulates that? They will be they say that there's something you might know, it's not a character that is showing. But you see that that is always talking to you to gain his or her way. Another one is a nasty or selfish person. It could be a he, it could be a she. You know it's all that I'm saying the right thing. Okay, the next one, the person is consistently lying. He lies about where he is, where she is, what they are doing. Lies about their financial status. They are only borrowing here. They want to buy credit over there. Lies about everything. Anytime you are having a discussion, you are finding that there are lies here and there. You can't put those things together. Deal with those red flags. Discuss them. If the person is not willing to change, take a walk. The person constantly puts you down. Have you seen those kind of people who are in relationship will tell you, you're trying to be funny, but you're cracking a joke in a public place, you'll say, ah, don't shut up by your mouth. If you're a woman, you're a woman, you're a woman, it's great thing for you. She's putting you down, she's putting you down. Okay, that's not your past now. It's either you are trying to make the person talking to you, so that you don't have a low self-esteem. Self-esteem is very, you need it. You need it to lie, you need it to relationship, you need it to marriage. So if you are doing your courtship, it's already bringing you down, she's bringing you down, in public and in private, you know, so are very passive. Very passive, they'll just sit it here. Please, address it. Another one is that person is excessively jealous. Ah, uh, you tell me that, yeah, if I'm in love, uh, I, I get jealous. Well, you can give a small tip there. We're talking about excessive jealousy. When you are somewhere, where are you now? So what are you doing? You see with you, so what are you doing now? Who is there? Eh? Have you asked somebody to us at the background? Who is that one? My sister, my brother. Check it. Because someday, I don't want to put some stories down here. Someday you just want to appear in your office to fight your boss. I don't allow you to grow financially. I don't allow you to grow with the gifts that God has given to you. Each and every one of us has gifts in us. And by the time we have partners that are depriving us from exploring our deeds and excelling in our deeds is a problem. Marriage should not stop you. Or that's what they want to marry. Kill your dream, kill your goal, kill your targets. Show me where it is in the Bible.